Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and today we've got a budget unboxing from Timu. Timu always produce budget buys and there is a lot to look at on their site and then you do tend to get a little bit sidetracked because they keep suggesting things that you might like and <laughs> you end up going down a bit of a rabbit hole. So I've got a little bit of a variety in this package for us today. We'll start with uh, having a bit of a delve in because what's happening here? Oh, okay, let's start with this one then. Sorry about all that rustling, that took a bit of getting out. And look at this. Well, I'm not happy about that at all. Look at all that crumpling. I've never had a diamond painting <laughs> arrive to me in that condition before. Let's see if we can get it smoothed out. Right. Mm, I hope it's not done it too much damage because that would be very sad. Okay. I mean, really? Surely they could have sent it in a package that size. It's not huge after all. It's a 40 by 40. Oh, I've got my cross voice on, I can feel it. But just look at the picture. Yes, let's get back into our happy space. <laughs> I saw this picture and I really thought it was fabulous with all of these different colours. It's a, like a little town with the big moon and the, well, is that a moon and the sun and the sky at the same time? Oh, well. And the space things, it's a bit um, of a quirky one, this one. <laughs> Perhaps it's not that literal. Just having that design in the sky up there. So this is a round diamond painting and it's got 24 colours. We've got a legend down the top left and bottom right. And I said it was a 40 by 40. Usually they are a little bit smaller than what the measurements say. So I haven't got my tape measure here, but I'm going to estimate it's around about a 34 perhaps. In fact, let's, let's not guess. I'll use this big tape measure. I don't know what I've done with my cute little love heart one. Oh, hey, I tell you, I wasn't far off there, was I? 34 and a half. <laughs> so 34 and a half centimetres square. Let's pull back the protective cover. It is looking a little bit crumpled where they folded that across. So I would definitely have to put this under my mattress to flatten out a little bit and see if I could get rid of that crumpling there. Fingers crossed, because this is fab, isn't it? It really has got lots of colours and lots of detail for such a small diamond painting. And it does look like some of it is colour blocked. And then we head into more confetti around here. But again, there's a little bit more colour blocking in certain areas that we can see here. So a little bit of a mix of both, this one. We'll back this side. There we can see. Ooh, that's a lovely one, isn't it? With all of the different levels on. They've all got such a lot of colours within them. Really, really nice. And the dark background will bring out those bright colours even more. Got a dome roof here. We've got, in fact, they've all got quite rounded roofs on when you look. And there's something to see in every part of this picture. I think it'd be really fun to work on. And this bottom bit here is a little bit like a patchwork like a quilted patchwork there. Let's have a closer look. 
Now, some of the symbols, I have to say, are a little bit trickier than others. In this area here, we've got fours and twos in the greys that are a bit more difficult than these ones to see. But judge it by your own eyesight. See if you think you would struggle with those. So it is around. There are no grid lines or anything like that. So it is just using your own judgment where the, where the diamonds sit on it. There are no indicators of where to place them. Some people are a fan of the grids, you know, the circles, and some prefer not to have them. So hopefully you would fall into the category of not needing those. Toolkit, we've got a green tray, small slab of pink wax, a diamond painting pen with a small multi-placer. I would say that's a three-placer and a single-placer. And we have some spare baggies as well. Not many, only four. But still, you can add them to the collection of baggies. They're always quite useful. Is that another one? Have I actually got five? One, two, right. Apologies, there are five baggies, plus this bigger one as well. So quite a basic toolkit. Let's have a look at the diamonds. They are all in their individual sealed packets. Let's see if the colours are as bright as what they look on the canvas. Starting with a black, then a grey, a peachy pink, a mid green, pale green, more like an olive, pale olive green, a mushroom, a lighter mushroom, a mint green, bright orange, tan, blue, bright coral red, a lime, pale lime, brown, brown, orange, dark blue, I think they're both dark blue, yeah, a mid olive green, a, I would say, hmm, very pale beige, a mid pink orange, a teal, darker teal, yellow, pink and blue. So there are some brights in, a lot of neutrals, so not as bright, I have to say, as what I was expecting. But I think when you lay them down on the canvas, it will look brighter because of that dark background will bring those colours out even more. So I think this one is really fun and it should be quite quick to complete as well. One being round and two being a 40 by 40. And I love the image. I really do like all of the different shapes in the buildings. So first one, let's get the next kit and see what else we have. Okay. <laughs> wow. Now this one really is Diddy. I knew I was ordering a small one, but I think this, <laughs> look at my hand. That's how small this kit is. Let's find out more. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember now. It is another village, but this one has different sorts of houses. If you look at the first one, we have all of the different colours, the towers. This one is more of a townscape with... Is that a tree or a lamppost? I can't quite remember what the image was. 
I think it's a lamppost. <laughs> There's a tree, I think, here. And then the buildings are quite similar, but not as colourful. And look how diddy. I mean, it's so diddy. And I think, if I remember back to when I first ordered, I thought, this is a proper snack size. This you could do on your knee in front of the telly quite easily. Just pop it on a tray. It does look like it's mainly confetti with blocks of colour blocking in the sky and down the building. But it is quite... Hello, there are some blocks here and in the pathways too so not too bad and it's so little it's so cute there are 14 colors in this kit it's not a 20 by 20 let me measure it do you think 15 i think we'd be lucky if it was 15 oh okay just short of 15 i would say um 14 and three quarters <laughs> I quite like it though, I do think it's really cute. The kit is a diamond painting pen, single placer only, a green tray and a slab of pink wax. Again, round diamonds in this kit with the tan, a blue, um, an orange, but I would say it's more of a chalky orange, sort of a neutral orange. Brown, terracotta, brown, bright orange. So that's the difference. Yeah, you can see this is more of a flat colour than that one. Another, I would say orange red, rather than an orange, so yeah. Um, a green grey, a burgundy, um, putty, mushroom putty, green, olive and black. So again, quite similar to the first kit in the neutrals, but then with having these brights, it, they will pop through. <laughs> so quite a cute little snack size kit that one delve in here again ah uh, yes now this is what i mean about being sidetracked whenever i go on timu i always end up with a pack of cards and this time i saw these crystal cards let me um try and open these and quickly show you i know it's not diamond painting so we won't spend too long on it, but I do, I get sidetracked all over the place when I go on to Timu. I'm sure I'm not the only one. So crystals, I do love crystals. I do have my own little collection of crystals and I select one to carry with me all the time. So look, oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful pictures of different crystals and you give them a quick shuffle on a morning and say, what crystal do I need today? And then one will pop out. <gasps> Ooh, beautiful. Kunzite, what is it? And it'll tell you all about it. Who needs it? Anyone with a heavy heart about something. Collectors of good vibrations. And then it tells you where to put it and when to use it. But if you don't want to buy a kunzite, or if you don't have one already, you can just carry the, car, the card around with you to remind you for the day, and it might just help. So I love those. I always love um, these self-help cards and things like that, and these images are beautiful. So yes, that's sidetracked on that one. <laughs> I'll have a good look at those on my own later. And lastly is this kit here. Now I am going to ask you to perhaps 
think differently on this one because I am going to make a suggestion for it and you may not have heard this before. So this is actually a cross stitch kit. I have started a floss tube alongside my diamond painting so this is one that I will probably add to my stash but I saw it and I loved the colours in it. Quite tricky to get out of this bag though. Here we are. So I'm not going to show the chart but I am going to show you the picture. Look at those colours really nice gra gradiated down from reds yellows greens blues and purples now you may not be into cross stitch at all in which case there is another way to use these sorts of kits of course they do come with oh my goodness all of these colors and the fabric to stitch on but because they're such a good budget buy, you don't have to use this part of the kit. You could just use the pattern. And what I'm going to suggest is if you see a really good budget cross stitch kit, buy it. If it's a full cross rather than a really complicated one with back stitching, etc., because that wouldn't work. But if like this one, it's a simple pattern of full crosses, then what you can do is use the pattern, buy a blank canvas, and you'll be able to convert the size. This is a 14 count cross stitch. It, it gives you an idea of the size in a 14 count. What you could do is use a converter so that you know the size of the blank canvas you would need to buy to do this kit with your leftover diamonds. So if you've got diamonds that are very similar to this, they don't have to be exact, then you could convert this chart into a diamond painting. So that is my idea and I did actually wonder with my floss tube as well whether I was going to convert one of my cross stitch patterns into a diamond painting and perhaps do both to show the difference between the stitch and the diamond painting and this one could be one that I do that with. This particular kit doesn't have the DMC numbers as you can see they are just numbered and symboled but if you um, bought the kit, you'd be able to put your diamonds by the side of these colours and it wouldn't matter if they didn't match up exactly. But some of the cross stitch kits that we get do have the DMC numbers, which make it even easier. So that's just a little suggestion of what you could do with your leftover diamonds. I do have a video, it's quite an old one. I think I might need to re-record it about how to make your own chart because if you didn't want to purchase a blank canvas, you could print out your own and put on the double-sided sheets that they come in A4 and you could make your own to be able to do that as well. So there we are, a really good budget buy from Timu with lots of different ways that you can use that kit with the teeny little snack size cute kit and the bigger village too. There we are. Not forgetting my crystals kit as well. <laughs> That I was so tempted with as I was on Timu. I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't expensive, so it's fine. A little treat. One thing I would say, if you're watching as a cross stitcher, it's harder, I think, to convert diamond paintings to cross stitch. I haven't tried it yet, but never say never. I think it's more easier to convert the charts to diamond painting. There we are, my personal opinion. So, a really quick budget buy video and I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy your own diamond painting. Keep sparkling everyone. Bye!